Alright, so as I made my way to the kitchen to unpack my bags, I noticed that my daughter had a treat sitting here for me. Let's see what's in the bag. Well, obviously it is a nothing bunt cake, but I want to see what flavor it is. it is the lemon flavor i love the lemon so i will be enjoying this with coffee after the video hi everyone today i took a quick trip to dollar tree mainly needing only a few items for work so i told myself i was giving myself a ten dollar spending budget in Dollar Tree well from the looks of it you can see myself did not listen but it was a really nice trip and I was able to pick up a lot of really nice items and I am going to get everything set up and begin showing it to you okay guys so the main reason of my trip today was to grab a few breakfast bars i like the breakfast bars that they have at um the dollar tree and the quick little applesauce packs i like to keep stuff like that in my work bag for when i get hungry as i'm working i may have something quick to snack on because sometimes i get up and i leave so quick I don't have time to eat anything at all. So when I walked in, I made the mistake of walking over and looking at the Halloween stuff. And when I say they have some really nice stuff over there, I didn't even put a dent in what they have, but I'll show you a few of the items that I did pick up. First up, this is kind of big. I have this skeleton wall hanger here. And I'm not sure if I will hang this up inside or outside. But I thought that it was really, really cool. And will be a very welcoming guest during the Halloween season. So the next Halloween item I picked up was this i really thought that this was so nice this really really nice photo frame here and i'm not sure if i'm gonna do some light embossing to this in like a silver so that the frame could pop out a little more but i thought that this was super nice and the fun feature of it is it's one of those image changing portraits and also it has sound effects to it and it has light up. so i'm not sure if it's motion activated or if it just keeps going or how, how it um i guess you just have to i may just have to touch it i don't know if it will operate by motion but i saw this and i really like this as well so the next items I picked up were these pumpkin decorating um, kits and I'll let my daughter choose which kit she wants to use and which kit I will use and we will have a, a very easy and simple pumpkin decorating session this year. I will get medium sized pumpkins, maybe emboss the um the, like the stress, I, sh I should say, the stress, the um, pumpkins a little bit for a pop of color to them. And then we can just stick the facial features on in whatever way we want to and add some of these little black foam roses to it. So here I have another one of those little spooky um, character changing photos that I will hang up for Halloween. I thought that this was a fun item and 
it can even see that there's a little gargoyle that appears and it disappears when the picture is normal. Let's see. I don't know how you're seeing it right now, but when the picture is normal, the little gargoyle disappears and it looks like a, a re regular couple standing here. So up next, I have this cute little book prop and it has the stand at the back where it can stand on the counter. I really thought that this was cute with the little distressed looking book. And also another thing about it is once Halloween does pass, if I choose to design it where it can remain as a part of my library, I can add different words to it, like maybe stick on the names of different books or something like that. But I thought that this was really cute also. And lastly, in the Halloween items, I have these bags here. Two of the sets have two different bag designs. This one has the same design for each bag. Oh, well, no, they are different they are different and it's one design on the front and one on the back so i thought that that was cute and they are each, each um set comes with two bags so up next moving on to some of the little snack items normally i am a sugar-free jello girl by heart i only prefer to have um sugar-free jello but i saw these and i felt like they were worth giving a try little small jello shot looking cups i thought it was cute so i picked up two bags of these next i only saw one of these in the fridge so that could be a good sign that they are good it is a reward electrolyte water strawberry kiwi flavor so i will be giving that a try these are some of the breakfast backpack snacks i was talking about so these i actually i love these the if you like Velveeta cookies they are extremely similar to Velveeta's at a much much cheaper price i love these and my last pack, I was lucky enough to get the boxes that had, I think, 40% more free in the box. So I had a few boxes that had that. Let's, I'm going to see if I still have one. I was wrong. It was actually 50% more. So there was no more boxes like this on the shelf. And the only box that didn't have 50% more last time was the coconut. Now, none of them and it was quite a bit of them on the shelf. So that shows how good they are. But the only thing is when I throw them in my bag, sometimes I'll take more than one flavor. And I, you can't, if you were to get them, if it matters to you, you would have to write which flavor you're pulling out in a permanent marker or something because it is not labeled on the individual packaging. And there are two bars to each one of these. So the mixed berry, I will be trying these for the first time. I only purchased one box of these just to give them a try. But if I like them, I may go ahead on and pick up another box. And this one is, I'm trying to see how many packs are in here. Well, let's just open it and see. It says pouches. I don't know if that's in how many ounces it is. Let's just open it and see. Okay, so it is four. Yeah, okay, it's four pouches with two in each pack. In each pack. So if I like these. I'll go back and pick up a few more boxes. So to this day, I still love applesauce. And 
the fact that applesauce comes in these little squeeze packs like this that kind of gives me the best of both worlds because if i'm walking around in the warehouse and i want to guzzle one down i pull it out my bag and do exactly that and these are three packs per box so i love i love love getting these another thing i normally pick up but i did not get today i still had a few packs of these in the pantry so i didn't pick any more up today so with these and the ones i just picked up because sometimes i bring like two to three of these to work with me a day so with what i have left this should last me a week so i saw this brown rice and quinoa mixture on the shelf and i thought that i would pick this up and give this a try because i can heat this up quickly and i like i really like smoke roasted salmon i have to go pick some up and I could pair avocado and maybe broccoli or something with this and make this a complete meal for it. This should last me at least two days for work. And lastly, I saw these Sabroso Tacolitos. And it is a spicy chili and lime flavor. I haven't been picking up too many snack type foods lately like chips and is what I'm referring to, chips, candy, different stuff like that. I haven't really been eating that lately. But I saw these. They were, they were the only bag I saw. And I like Takis, so I just felt I would give these a try. And not a food item, but a part of the kitchen. I saw these Twist Top um, containers. It is a two-pack, and it, it's the Twist and Lock um twist and lock containers it seems like it's very secure top so i just went ahead and picked those up so up next i have these really cool notebooks here and when i say lately dollar tree have been having some really nice notebooks if they catch my eye they they must be really nice notebooks and these are actually stone binding notebooks so i really thought that these were pretty cool this one of them at least one of them i know for sure is going to be a gift for my granddaughter but as you can see these are translucent covers kind of neon and translucent and they came in a few other colors that was orange yellow green and I think that was it. But I picked these up. And the pink one says big dream. And the blue one says life is good. I didn't pay enough attention to the other ones to see what they said. But if you see any type of nice journals in Dollar Tree. I would recommend that you pick them up. Because they often do get in something else nice. But if you see something nice get more than one because sometimes they don't replace the same ones that they that left out with new ones i'll show you an example of that i purchased these may, about two maybe three months ago and these were the ones i was initially going back looking for because i had a planned project that i wanted to start doing with these these are also stone binding journals tone paper as opposed to white paper i mean really nice journals so i went looking for these again and there was none none of these are available anymore so if you see nice journals at dollar tree that you think you would really like i would suggest that you get more than one of them okay up next i have in my hand a collective of items i have up first these magnetic bookmarks here and some contain bible quotes on them and some contain just words of hope and uplifting and the designs are different on both front and back 
Then I have here this. It's a cute little stationery kit for note taking, bookmarking, different things like that. So some of these I would prefer to use in my library books rather than using my bookmarks because sometimes you can have the potential to forget your bookmarks and I wouldn't want to forget my bookmarks inside of a library book. And this comes in this cute little Velcro case. I also have here labels, which I will use mainly for my notebooks, um, headlines for different notebooks, maybe like the first page of my notebooks, taking a notebook, writing your name or whatever you may want to on your label, and then tacking it in and maybe decorating around your label adds a lot of character to your page. So that's what I will be using these for. Okay, up next I have a, this is a cover sheet, which I will basically use as like dashboard covers inside of my notebooks. You can, with dashboard covers, you can um, sometimes just stick random things to your dashboard cover or another thing that you can do is take a label and put a label on it and tag what subject or what positioning in a notebook that you are in at the time but also you can add like little sticky tabs that you use for your bookmarkings as you are reading if you're using it as a note-taking notebook you can have some convenient stickers stuck to the dashboard cover for convenience where well, you won't have to go and dig them out and look for them then i have these awesome color cover colored iridescent colored um bubble mailer envelopes and i picked these up because i am going to start sending my granddaughter care packages I used to have a system with my children where I would have a bucket that contained different little, not expensive toys, but something like maybe dollar store toys or maybe things that I purchased from the thrift store. And if they had a good week in school, I would let them pick from the box. They would get to pick a prize um, for the end of the week. Well... I'm in Texas, my granddaughter is in Louisiana. So what I'm going to start doing with her is making little care packages. And when she have good weeks in school, I'm just going to go ahead on and put little items, stickers and different things inside of her mailer and decorate the outside of the mailer and mail it off to her. And these are the shipping labels. So all I have to do is fill out the shipping label tag it to the mailer and add stickers to the outside so that it will look like a little prize in itself once she receives it in the mail and that is my plans for this so going along with the care package um idea that i just mentioned about my granddaughter i have here different little these are bubble stickers and some of these I will open and cut and maybe take and pick three stickers per package and include three stickers inside of her mailer. And then this one right here, this is a prize within itself. One of the little grab and go kits. I thought that that was really cute here. So this is some of the ideas that I have to put in some of her little mailer envelopes. Also, when I mentioned the notebooks, I stated that one of these notebooks would be for my granddaughter. So this is also an item that will go inside of one of these mailers. So the idea is to take this notebook, um, cut three stickers, put that inside of the mailer, 
and I have a few other things that I have to show you that will be other options as well. So here I have these scented gel pens and again what I will do is open the package and include one pen whichever one I pick will go inside of that pack and I also have these Tetraconda pencils here and one one pack may include in a gel pen one pack may include a pencil something like that and I also have here this is well this plays off for both of us really I found these mini praying watercolor sets and I picked two of them up because I am going to do a cheap water um, color supply video using these just to test these out. I was really fascinated to see this little bitty tiny praying palette. So one day she'll most likely get a, um, if, if I was to do this as a, do a, a paint palette mailer, I will sketch out a few watercolor sheets for her tap that into the um into her little mailer maybe add a few little candies or something like that and it's just to kind of keep her boosted in order to keep pushing and doing good in school so getting more into the cheap art supplies i saw this little artist watercolor palette here and i think that this would be fun to do a video on testing these out and seeing what kind of paintings I can make from these and because I have grandchildren I really don't mind buying these little cheap supplies knowing that this is not what I'm really going to use to do my art because I can create a little box here at home for when they come to visit there's things here for them to play with this was another little sticker collection set that I picked up I didn't notice that that one had one missing but it doesn't matter because I'm not going to going to send it, the stickers out to her as whole sticker packs what I'm going to do is it's going to be an included item that's inside of a, the package as a whole I have here this cork board that I want to stick to my wall like immediately in front of me so that um and I have some little push pins that I can use on here if I have little quick notes or quick thoughts that I can take to my um to the cork board and I may actually also put something around it as a frame I don't intend to frame it but or maybe find an open get a frame and and a nice frame and of course don't use the glass and just use it as an open frame because I um I have here like things that my daughter give to me she wrote this for me and I keep it tagged right here on my desk you can't see where I'm, I'm tagging it but I would rather put a cardboard up so that certain things that I have I can put on my cardboard I also have here this canvas pad just want to try this out I thought it was really cool that Dollar Tree offers um, a canvas pad and it is to oh, 10 sheets inside of this pad I have here these two coloring books one being this Harry Potter advanced coloring book and I thought that the pictures in here were really nice. I purchased this one for myself. And I don't mind coloring in these type of books. Because I used to color in my children's books all the time. But these are really, really nice pictures inside of this book. Really nice detailed pictures. And then this one I picked up for my granddaughter. And this will be another included item in her prize packs. So what I may do is I will tear sheets out 
and instead of mailing the whole book because I just want it to be fun for her I don't want it to be something that I if I don't do this as a Christmas gift that's the that was the intentions that I have for it she should never know what she's going to get maybe a coloring sheet or um painting something to paint or a notebook something to write with so my intention is to tear the pages out and just fold them in half she's five she'll be excited to get it and she'll have something to color for that week okay so i have this these little contact sheets here and something i've been wanting to do is I have, um, and I'll show it to you at the end of the video, I have a platform nine and three four sign hanging to the left of my desk. And I've always wanted to make this look, to make that wall next to my bookcase look like the Harry Potter brick wall. So I chose to pick this contact paper up and I have like five sheets of it. And I am finally going to get to work on that project. Okay, up next I have here these Centos markers. I always have loved these little markers. I um, I actually have some of these in my storage, but I picked these up because these are going to be some of the items that I put in a little package for my daughter as a my granddaughter as a Christmas gift so up next I this is another thing that I'm going to use as far as her care packaging items but what I will do with this is I'm going to open a tin and send random items that are inside of the tin because I want to use the tin as an art tin for myself this will make like a nice watercolor um travel set so that is my intentions for that and i have the same intentions for her, my grandson but this is going to have to wait a while and really i may keep this one here for when they come to play because this is magnets and he can play with this on the refrigerator on a dishwasher wherever um the magnets will stick and again i will use the tins as um art supply tin but his is going to take a while for him to get to it because he's only a year old so but i thought that these were really cool another thing i have here and i thought this was really cool as well is this set of dominoes and it came inside of this little plastic portable tin i haven't played dominoes in a while it's been a while since i played this so I think it would be pretty nostalgic to get back to some of those older games. I do have a few older games in my um in my closet and I really need to start taking the stuff out like Uno and um it's just several different things that I have that I can um start playing with my daughter. Okay guys, so I saw this little collection of dolls they are so cute they remind me of Polly pockets although they are bigger than Polly pocket dolls and these are called forever friends so if you're looking for christmas items to get for that little girl in your life these will make perfect christmas gifts they um this was a little interchangeable wig set that was also an accessory pack i chose not to get her the accessory pack because they have little small items in it and my grandson is only a year old and then i have a grandson that's on the way that's not even here yet so it i with me not being there to, i'm pretty sure her mama watch but with me not being there i would rather not buy her stuff that is that small that they could choke on these i, I mean anything is a choking hazard for kids but these are much bigger items and they the dolls actually have a little bit weight to them and i actually got um two extra dolls for when she comes here i'll have these set up on my desk and 
if she wants to pull them down and have something to play with when she's here, she will. Okay, we have made it to the last bag, guys. So I have here these two pencil holders, and my daughter may take one of them. I, most of the, the items that I have here set up on my desk is black, so I purchased this black one to set up on my desk because I think it would be nice to have them arranged inside of something a little more organized. I'm trying to see if I could get this down without any problems. Right now I have pencils and brushes sitting inside of this little caddy here on my desk. So I just wanted to do something a little different. And these can be used for makeup brushes, just anything. I'm, all, I'm sure that there can be a, um, a use for them in the kitchen as well. So I just picked two of these up. So I have three of these jot organizers, two of the little mini size and one wider one. And I could probably use them. I have a little stand here on my desk and the fit perfectly inside of there so that I can just put little loose items in and just slide them into my desk and be able to pull them out whenever I, I need to pull something out quick. This is another um, little storage container that I picked up and most likely I will just store like loose paints or all of this I, I picked up with intentions of using it for some of my art supplies. I also have like little um, crayon sticks or whatever, certain things that I may want to just take, take out of the box and just store in something like this and put the boxes away. This would make a great use for that. And lastly, I have here this rotating bath organizer. It is more of a Lazy Susan style item. And this would be perfect for me to store paints in as I'm working on a painting. I can store all of my colors in here and just turn it as I need to pull a tube of paint out. So items, just because things are labeled as something you don't necessarily have to use it for what it is labeled for but i saw this and knew i just had to pick that up so that is i'm looking around everything in this dollar tree haul oh i'm going to show you um before i finish i i, I want to show you the wall that I plan to use the tack on. So this is the area next to my desk that I want to modify with the contact paper. As you can see, I have, it is slightly themed, but I want it to be more of a, to have more of a themed library look to it. So I will take and use the contact paper and put it on the wall as a, brick wall effect and once i do that i will show you guys the finished process of that and also i do have a bulletin style board here but i don't really want to use the thumbtacks in here i just use the rubber bands to stick everything that i want onto this board so i plan to put the cork board like here and I will be able to tack whatever I want onto the cardboard that way. So another thing I wanted to mention about this system that I have going here for my granddaughter is these are rewards. This is a little reward system, not looked at as like a gift or anything like that but actually just rewards in order to inspire her to keep doing good in school. And my intentions with these are, I'm going to, so far I have three packages here. I will go and get a few more. Um, 
because I'm going to pre-make these packages. So when I in and I'll have them set up as inside of a box labeled Zaz Rewards. So when it's time for me to mail them out, I will just pick a package, a pre-made package up and drop it off to the post office and it will go out. So I'm going to have everything, a collection of things that I put together, like a maybe the notebook, one ink pen, a few stickers and a pack of gummy candies or something like that and that that's what will be inside of this package here some may include a tube of lip gloss or you know just other little random things that i collect to put inside of the box because all of her, her things will be inside of a box until i package it all up and am ready to mail it out to her So guys, I hope you enjoyed this massive Dollar Tree haul. This was a very fun shopping trip, but now I have a lot of things that I need to go sort out, organize, and put away. So until next time, guys, thank you so, so, so much for watching.